All right, so when it comes to computers, we trust one guy. One guy to keep us informed and to talk to us with plain and easy words. We are happy to welcome Thor Schrock with Schrock Innovations. He'll be joining us each week to help us compute this. <laughs> Love that. Title. That's right. Today's Thor. topic, how to safely recycle our, our old electronics to make way for those new gadgets, those new gizmos. Here he is, Thor Schrock. I nice see how see it you. is, guys. You know, I sign on as a contributor, <laughs> barring me from winning anything on this program, <laughs> yes. and you give away Sesame Street Did Live. My son's right. watching this right now. Oh, He's saying, man. let's go to Sesame Street. Um, and you said, Dad can't help you now, bud. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hear about it But listen, home. our viewers are going to win out of this, because you'll <laughs> explain things, important subjects, like yep. getting rid of old technology, where the consequences can be pretty high. Yeah, one of the things that... Uh, Everybody asks you at the end of the year, what are your, your predictions, your Thorstradamus predictions mm -hmm. for 2012? Mm -hmm. And honestly, they're kind of boring this year. You know, we're going to get new tablets. They're going to be bigger, better, faster, quad-core tablets. Can you believe that? What's that mean? It means four brains. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. most, most people's core. cell phones have one brain. Right. I have one of the newest cell phones on the market. It's got two brains in it. Right. The new, uh, there's a new, Google's coming out with a new tablet that they say in the next six months is going to be the iPad killer. The iPad 3 is, is rumored to come out in March. Which, so means, getting better and better. which means we're all going to be getting rid of yes. any tablets. I just bought an iPad have. too. I brought it on the show. Mm. I said, yeah. hey, look at my iPad and too. Now it's, it's, obsolete. Cool. it's not like they're obsolete mm -hmm. or anything yet. Well, and you think about it, when, when you're using a tablet, everybody knows about computers. They have hard drives. You have to dispose of them properly. You can't just throw them in the curb or something because identity thieves will come along and take the hard drive and actually mine information off of it. But what about the solid state stuff? The tablets, the phones, those are much harder to delete because they're hardened against uh, hackers and criminals and things like that, which means all the normal programs you can run on a computer to wipe hard drives and stuff, you can't do that as a consumer on your tablet. So how do you, do you just put it, you run the factory wipe and put it on Craigslist? Well, well that's the question. What, so what do you do with this stuff? Where does it go when you, re you recycle it, basically? Well, most right? people, when they have like an iPad 2 and they're going to get an iPad 3, the smart way to do it is the week before the iPad 3 comes out, you sell your iPad 2 on Craigslist. Uh, you go through withdrawal for a week, but then you take that money and you buy the iPad 3. Because once the iPad 3 comes out, no one's going to give the you any money for the, the iPad 2. The value goes down, yeah. So uh, that's the smart way to do it, if you can go for a week. I don't know. It's sometimes it's, tough. There's an addiction issue for but many. But running the mm -hmm. factory restore on there does not necessarily just delete everything in the tablet. You actually have to, in many cases, destroy the tablet or have it professionally wiped, which there just aren't resources to do that at this point. So one of the things that Schrock does is we recycle technology at no cost. So if you bring in a tablet, for example, that's an iPad 1, something that's just complete, there's no chance you're going to use it. The kids are even bored with it. It doesn't run the apps like it used to. Mm -hmm. We can take that off your hands and recycle it properly at Truck, as opposed to just trying to sell it to somebody online. It ends up in Zimbabwe somewhere, and all of a sudden you're getting uh, emails from Somali saying, you know, beloved sir. Right. I mean, right. <laughs> or certain accounts have been compromised. You start getting alerts from... Well, and then think about your cell phones, your old mm -hmm. cell phones. I mean, this is something, in 2012, they're predicting that mobile identity theft and mobile malware problems are going to be one of the biggest concerns in 2012. So your old cell phones, everyone pulls the SD card out and thinks that's the end of it. You know, when you're on your browser and doing things in there, when you're doing your online banking on your phone, checking your PayPal account, all that stuff saves information in the phone. And when you get rid of the phone, we've had people on our last recycling event that turned in Blackberries to us. We turned on the Blackberry. Now they're turning them into us because they know we're going to wipe them. That's why they're turning them into us. Right, you're trusting. But we turn them on, and, and literally you hit Facebook, and you're logged into the person's Facebook account because mm -hmm. they have all their passwords saved. I mean, so you can't just throw this stuff away. You can't just sell it online. You really have to dispose of it properly. Mm -hmm. And have a professional well, clean it up. So what type of information are the, are the bad guys after? I not mean, just Facebook. Gotcha. You yeah. know, not the, just to log into your Facebook account, right? You know, it, actually, it can be a pretty powerful thing because Facebook logins, as you know, now are used on many websites to log you into different online things. You can log in. You know, log, have you ever seen that when you go to a website a and it point. says create an account or mm -hmm. log in here with your Facebook mm -hmm. password? If you pull your Facebook password out of this phone, you could log into a whole host of websites as that person conduct business, e-commerce, whatever you want to do with it. I had two of our debit cards compromised in the last 10 days from all the ordering we did for customers over the, over, you know, before Christmas. Uh, I got two calls from our bank two days in a row saying wow. this card's compromised, this card's compromised. Not because the places we bought stuff from stole our, you know, the credit card numbers. It's because somebody hacked their databases. Somebody hacked into that. Somebody hacks into your phone if you give it, no matter what you do to a device, if you give someone enough time and enough resources, money, attention, equipment, they can get anything off of it. Perfect testament to that is our data recovery center. We can get data off of anything. Old camera cards. We had uh, a person who took a uh, Cancun vacation. She and her daughter did. 
and they came back and they were going to show some of the pictures to, to dad from the SD card and they started going through the card and they accidentally hit delete. So they brought the card into us to have the pictures recovered. Mm -hmm. And we said, well, we can recover the pictures, but it's going to be larger than the card because we're going to recover not just these pictures, but the last two or three sets of pictures that were taken that on were the card. That were deleted off the that card. Were, that have been yeah. previously deleted. And all of a sudden, she said, well, let me, let me think about that. And her and the daughter took the card left, never came back. So I don't know what <laughs> happened to Cancun. You to say. <laughs> <laughs> but it's staying in Cancun. Uh, so bottom line, Thor. is there any way for, for the consumers to wipe those devices on, on their own? At this time, mm. there's, not. there's not. And the reason for that is we actually investigated creating an app for droid devices that allowed people to do it. But what happens is you just don't want to have an app have free access to wipe your, your data storage mm -hmm. because then you could make a virus that would you get in an app and it would just wipe your whole tablet. Mm -hmm. And so Google actually hardened, and so did Apple, their, their devices against activities like that. So you literally are prevented from permanently wiping the device. So you need to have it done professionally. Yep. Uh, you can do it. How much, we know about the cost of not doing it if somebody gets sure. your information. What's the cost to have it We recycled? don't charge to recycle it. So when we take it in, we guarantee we're going to wipe it. And how we do that is you have to go through a procedure called unlocking the device. Mm -hmm. Now, if we unlock the device, what that does is it voids the manufacturer's warranty. So you can't resell the device. You can't, if you go to try to sell it online, it's an unlocked device. Now, if Apple finds out you've, you, know, you get your next software update from Apple on an unlocked phone, it will brick your phone. Your phone is dead. So nobody wants an unlocked phone from Apple unless you really know what you're doing. The number of people who really know what they're doing with unlocked devices is pretty minimal. All right, three locations. If you would like to make sure that your information is actually cleaned out, not just where you think, yeah, I think I got it all. <laughs> Odds <laughs> are you're in danger there of having somebody who doesn't, isn't going to do good things with your info. Schrockinnovations.com is the website, but Thor has three locations now. One in Omaha, one in Papillion, and then another in Lincoln, and you can find the one nearest you and have your technology devices, whether it's a phone or a pad of some kind or a laptop, whatever it is, have it recycled and then you're good. Yeah, I bet a lot of people got new technology for Christmas and they're mm -hmm. looking at their old technology thinking, what am I going to do with this now? Recycle. I've probably got a half dozen phones sitting in my house somewhere. Right. Yeah. Maybe you would dump off at your Recycle. place. We took a lot of phones in on our recycling event last spring. Yeah. A lot nice of to phones. see you today. Good, good stuff. topic. Thanks we'll for having me, guys. see you next week. Yeah, next I week. want the tickets, though. What, what do I, who do I talk <laughs> to? You're out of the that? running, buddy. <laughs> Guests of the Morning Blend start their day with coffee from Paris Gourmet. Shut him down. The official coffee of the Morning Blend. To learn more about Paris, go to OmahaMorningBlend.com and click on that Pears logo right on the home page. So I hit the dance floor last year for it, Dancing with the Omaha Stars. It returns this month. We'll talk about the star-studded lineup and the cause when we return. We might have an extra pair back